The patient was a 53-year-old female with subglottic tracheal stenosis, a condition that restricts the airway and makes respiration difficult. A cricotracheal resection procedure will be performed to remove the stenotic portion of the trachea and subglottic airway. Dissection will reflect the strap muscles of the neck laterally to expose the anterior surface of the trachea, thyroid gland, and thyroid and cricoid cartilage. Throughout the procedure, care will be taken to avoid the recurrent laryngeal nerve lying posterior between the trachea and anterior esophagus. The thyroid gland is divided and reflected laterally. The cricothyroid muscles are reflected laterally, exposing the lateral margins of the cricoid cartilage. And the cricoid cartilage is mobilized from the cricothyroid membrane. The trachea is divided three to five millimeters distal to the cricoid cartilage and the posterior attachments are freed with blunt dissection. By cutting directly into the stenosis, the minimal amount of trachea can be resected. On the distal trachea, the stenotic portion is resected. Stay sutures can then be placed at the posterior edge of the cartilaginous portion on the distal trachea. On the proximal trachea, the anterior third of the cricoid cartilage is resected. The stenotic portion is resected from the proximal trachea. The inner surface of the posterior proximal cricoid cartilage is shaved down for later anastomosis. The posterior wall will now be repaired. Stay sutures will be placed superiorly while the trachea is left in position. The stay sutures from the posterior distal trachea are placed proximally through the mucosa and cricoid cartilage. The posterior wall anastomosis is now performed with a running 4-0 PDS suture. Stitches are placed superiorly in the exposed portion of mucosa and inferiorly in the membranous part of the distal trachea. The posterior wall ends are brought together carefully, with the stay sutures helping to relieve tension. Interrupted stitches are placed in the anterior wall with a 3-0 PDS suture. A tracheotomy is performed on the distal trachea, and a T-tube is inserted and fed through the opening. The anterior wall sutures are tied and cut in sequence. The thyroid gland is reconnected by tying the stay sutures, and the surgical field is closed.